You're listening to 90.4 Oman of Emmett Esme here. Welcome back to Masqat Candid. We were talking about the best ways to get a job, and now we want to take a deep dive into CVs and think about the evolution of CVs. What happens to it? You know, why, why, why is it so hard to fit all of my personality into one? And we have Khawla Al Amri, the GM of HR India. Hello, Khawla. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, let me ask you first thing. How important is a CV when applying for a job? As I said, uh, the CV is the first impression of, of who you are to a recruiter who haven't seen you, actually. So it should be matching that job required. Yeah. And it should be something telling the, uh, the, the recruiter who you are in a nutshell. CV comes from um, its curriculum vita, which is a French word, actually. Mm. And it started from, you don't believe it, Leonardo da Vinci. No way! Yes. And, and actually, it's uh, it's basically means in French, a paint or a drawing of a skill. Yeah. So that's what a CV. And this word is not an English curriculum data. I don't know how they say it in French, though. <laughs> So from it being a French piece of paper, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. take me through the evolution of CVs. Yeah, a long time ago, you, we all you know yeah. write our CV with the starting with the you know our basic personal information, and then it goes for qualification, and then it goes from the starting of the job to the end of the job, and then hobbies. <laughs> That's what I used to see in the uh, fresh graduates, actually, more. And even uh, the experience, it was like three, four pages of talking about the nature of the work that they are doing, uh, plus their personal profile and everything. Now, it it's kind of simpler. It's kind of really simple. So it's the most important is, yeah, a little bit of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you will write a master or BA uh, and the year, but they will, you will start opposite. You will start with the last position that you are, the current position you are mm-hmm. going. And it will be very brief, uh, the main purpose. And if there's any kind of achievements, in the end, you will have also or on the side like a competencies and yeah. all these. And then some people will tend to write things that they like to do or hobbies or something like that. Now and it's getting brief and <laughs> brief yeah. and brief. Yeah. Should we still add our hobbies and interests <laughs> to our CVs? I think it depends on the uh, kind of a job that you're applying I for, see. especially marketing if you... You know, marketing, communication, people would like to see that you have other life, other things. It, it reflects sort of a personality as well, yeah. what other things that they can do. And, well, if we go deep into, like, for instance, if I see a CV for a person, a graduate, but they didn't really put the major project that they work like in marketing or communication, or if they had a ledger job mm. and you went worse, you went to the interview and you can see this person is not kind of extrovert person. He, they don't talk much. They are not the right candidate for the job. Yes. Yes. So it does really see if you reflect your personality in one way or another. So you can do. But now we have, we have reached reach to the customization of CV according to the job. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is where So, at. yeah, you just have to avoid the picture format. There are smart now recruitment system which filters according to the job mm, uh, okay. requirement. Yeah, so it's looking for a specific filtration like me, for instance, as a recruiter, I have put uh, advanced communication skill or leadership. So I will look in the CV where this word exists. And the system can give you filter those CVs accordingly or any kind of filtration. Yeah. Okay. So you've answered most of my questions without me asking them. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was just Sorry. about to ask you, you know, what do recruiters look for in CVs? Or what's the first thing that you look for when you hold a CV? This is it. I think the JD matching to the uh, to the the profile of that comp that 
the candidate to the job description. So the main requirements that are required within the job position. Yes. That's the first thing you see. Yes. Yes. And the competencies, uh, the, uh, then the qualification. All right, let's look beyond CVs. Um, what is important for a CV to have other than, you know, the everything that a CV has? Is, for example, a cover letter important? Are referrals important to be attached to it? And how long should a CV be? Too many questions. I'll, I'll write it down. Yeah, I think it depends on the company. Yeah. So um, we don't usually, like, cover letter is not very popular. Oh, some people do it, but we don't really ask for a cover letter that much. There are certain companies where... In, when you apply or when they save your data, they yeah. ask for a cover letter. But but when we ask for a position and there's announcement, we don't much, we, we go right away into the CV more. There will be um, important for referrals in the end. You can add them on yeah. the experience uh, or some fresh graduate, but it's, it's more what's the person, the content of that CV actually matching the JD. Yeah. And how long should a CV be? Maximum two pages. So like a, one yeah. to two pages. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't make a, and it should briefly. The length is not more than two pages, mm -hmm. whether it's a fresh graduate or yeah. it's an experienced person, yeah, yeah. because you shouldn't also expose everything, you know, at that CV. You should be brief. I know, for instance, Khawla is a GM of HR. If I'm not chill, you know what's the role of HR. Mm -mm -mm. So you, I will not, I will make like a sort of achievement project achieved, like I have done succession planning, career development. What the job description is looking for, I will customize it. I see. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, last question. Last question for today. If I want a CV, to be picked out first or to, I want that CV to stand out in the crowd how can I make the CD the CV just shine in front of all the other CVs you know having too much word it's sort of like a, it should be very much to the eyes very comfortable to see it sorry uh, the it should be very simple and not too much colors okay and specific to the job that it's required. Yeah. And now we don't look it now everything is systemized. So the system will be a lot sort of filtration, auto filtration matching what we are looking for. So you we don't have like a hard copy like before and yeah. all these things. No. Yeah. No, yeah. I, what should everyone avoid putting in CVs? Too much details. Yeah. Too much details and length. It's it's too long, because we look, the recruiter they have to e expect that the recruiter are looking into too many CVs. If it's a, a company, they don't have a system. If yeah. the company have a system, there will be an automated filtration. And but it does even when you go to the interview, we have it. Um, it's it's kind of you know. We know an auditor from the, well, what I say, an auditor from the, the way they are putting their CV. It tends to be also details. Yeah. So you know, you know this person. <laughs> Marketing or also a, a communication person. Also, they use sort of a format and the way they are doing designs of it. It reflects, uh, subhanAllah, there is nothing right or wrong. There's systems, but in the interview, we do look at these things. It tells something about the person. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was, that was great. That was absolutely <laughs> you, great. Yes, Hopefully Thank everybody you. gets to learn something from us today. If you would leave everybody with a piece of advice, if someone is a fresh graduate or they are changing career paths, what would you say? I think um, the first thing I would don't give up. If you are really passionate and you want to have an opportunity, go for a training, prove yourself. Do not stay home. Try as much to um, take all opportunities, whether it's with a salary or with, without a salary. 
that's the most important, I say, for fresh graduate. For the person who are leaving to another job, looking for a change or diversity or uh, diversify their experience or a new challenge, I say also uh, it's good and healthy. Long time ago, it wasn't healthy. You know, we look and we make a judgment subconscious. Oh, this person is not going to stay here for long yeah. uh, because he keep moving. Nowadays, the good news, it's normal. Two to four years is more than normal to go for another job. And it's an adding value to you. So the decision is right. You're looking for a better environment. You're looking for diversity, whatever the reason that you are, or a promotion or salary or career progression. That's a good thing. So just um, try to approach people. Build your network is very important. Uh, go to the events for especially the people who are very experienced and it's very important because sometimes judging a person from an interview is not we, enough. Yeah. No, exactly. It's not enough. So it's very important what I'm saying to build the network. Also for fresh graduate going to the events like the exhibitions, uh, understanding w or on the boots, what, you know, on those boots, what those companies want. You're getting to know those recruiters, their expectation. You will enhance your CV. You will take their advice on how your CV, take those opportunities uh, to advance it and maybe enhance your CV and build your network as well. So I think it's very important. Never give up. Just look for the right position. It will come, inshallah. Never, ever give up. And we, with that note, we end today's interview. Khala, thank you so much for Shukran, your time. Thank you. And hopefully we see you again soon. Inshallah, we'll do.